Hey, I'm Rose. It's currently 1.54 p.m. Uh, yesterday was the last day of the summer semester. I finished my last class this Thursday. I just had like a group presentation where it was like a group, I think, of it was a group of five of us and like one like one of my group members was like i already talked to the professor i'm not going to be there for like the presentation or whatever and it's fine and then like so the rest of us were trying to like get together um to practice and everything for the presentation and then like the night before one of my group members was like i'm just gonna send you a video of like me presenting my part and like we didn't even like go over any parts or anything like we were trying to like um like distribute parts of what we're gonna present but like we didn't even get to that and then we like i was just like oh or, or he was like oh i'm gonna send like a video of like me presenting and like it's cool with the professor and everything and i was like okay cool so it's just gonna be like the, like three people presenting me and two other people but then like and like the three of us like we had just dis we like distributed our parts and everything actually let me like do this while i'm getting ready because i just washed my face and i have to get ready like i have an hour before i have or an hour and a half before i have to leave for work so basically like the three of us like we distributed our parts and everything and like i thought like all of us were going to be there on the presentation day but then like when i walk into class and like i only see one of my partners there and then like we're the first group to present and i'm just like oh no because first of all i don't even know what the presentation is about like i i worked on the project and everything with like my group members but like i stopped like attending class i think i only attended like the first two classes and then i just stopped going because i got like busy with like life and everything trying to find co-op and I basically just stopped going to class. So, basically just me and my other partner, we totally, totally rocked that presentation. I quickly like made like a little script of what, what I was gonna say for my part, because I had assumed that like the parts that we distributed like the night before was all that I was gonna present. So I had that written on a piece of paper and everything. Um, but yeah, it was only me and like another group member. The other group member that was supposed to be there didn't show up. Didn't even say anything in the group messages or whatever. Just didn't bother to let anybody know. So I had to like present their part. And I just like read off the slide or like I tried to like I basically just read off the slide for that their part because I didn't even like go over that part for them and I wasn't like prepared to do so um but yeah my partner was awesome um so yeah so it's like 2 p.m right now my er, because I have only two semesters left so like co-op and then one more semester and then I graduate and then I'm done with school and everything and like my degree program and because i have like so much stuff in this room i just decided to pay the extended term fee for the seneca residence which is like i think 526 dollars or 500 something so i can stay here plus like i have nowhere like i mean i guess i i don't know but i just had like where am i gonna put all my stuff if I decide to like move out and then come back after like the two weeks are done because I only have two weeks left of summer this whole week I'm gonna be like working full time and then I'm gonna have one week I'm just gonna take it off I'm not gonna take it off completely but I'm gonna have like one one week to like just do summer things and like prepare for co-op because I was so stressed like this entire summer just trying to find a co-op placement and I finally found one this last week. I found one, or 
this week is like the last week of school so I finally found one on Wednesday I had the interview and then like I think like 10 or 15 minutes later like after the interview was done like the interviewer he um emailed me saying I got the position and I don't know, I was just so relieved. It's unpaid though, so I don't get paid, so I still have to work my part-time jobs just to like pay for expenses and everything. Um, I know like some co-op positions are paid. Um, those positions are kind of hard, harder to get because it's more competitive. And honestly, like, I had, I had like an interview for Tesla that was scheduled but um and they they like i didn't respond right away when they like told me that they wanted to interview me and then like they reached out to like my professor i think i told i think i spoke about this before but i don't know if i i don't know if i did or not um and they're like can you get like rose to respond and it wasn't even like I think it was like less than like a day that I didn't respond so I I got the email and then like the next day like they reached out and they were like can you get her to respond to this like great opportunity so I thought like they really wanted me to do the interview and maybe they did but um and then they like later on they told me um like in the next three days like you'll hear back from like our scheduling team that they're gonna like schedule you for an interview but i never heard back so then i reached out and i asked and like, they said that they went with like someone else um so i'm guessing someone else more qualified i was kind of i was like so like worried for like the interview because i was like preparing and everything and like i don't know i'm kind of i'm like relieved but like i also really want i also wanted the position at the same time but i know i'm not like ready for like full time and like like it's with tesla so it's like very high standards and i don't know i don't think i was like i see myself and i'm like i'm not ready yet and plus like i like my working my two jobs right now and i like the people there and everything and i like like i don't know i like my life right yet or like my i like like what's going on with my life right now um so i wasn't i don't know if i would, yeah i don't know things happen for a reason but yeah, so this co-op position, it's nearby too. It's just like unpaid. Um, it's not full-time because I don't, I thought like co-op was full-time, but it actually like it isn't because full-time is 40 hours. I think this is like 25, 30 hours or maybe less. I don't know, but it's like from morning to like the afternoon-ish. So then I can like take shifts on like the evening and like weekends and stuff. Um, just to, like pay for expenses and everything but I'm like I'm so relieved that I finally have a cold placement because it's like the end of August and like I was stressing 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 because I started hearing or I started seeing like back to school commercials and everything and I was like dang I'm so unsure of like my future and everything what if I don't get a cold position like what's gonna happen to me um I don't know I was just like so stressed about finding one and I I honestly am so relieved that I finally have one. I don't mind if it's unpaid. I'm not like so upset about that. Like I'd rather have the experience and like um, complete co-op just because like I have to complete it for this program so I can graduate and everything, but also gain experience. I'm just so relieved that I don't have to like stress out about finding a co-op position anymore because I was like, it was getting like, it's already like the end of summer, but like I also saw like, due dates for like co-op um because i think my mirror just stopped working oh it glitched um let me actually plug it in but i saw like due dates being like september 1st and like cold positions start like september 5th or like after labor day so i'm like dang like recruiters are like pretty last minute and like I feel like if they have the due date as like September 1st, like they're gonna hire you just cause like they quickly need someone or the interview will be like probably the next day. Or maybe they won't even interview you. Maybe they will just be like, you have the, you have the position. But yeah, so I found a cool position, which is really good. 
I was so worried because I was like, what if I don't find a cool position? Like I'm gonna have to stay like an extra year to like maybe next year I'll find a cool but I don't know, I was just like worrying like mad. And plus I was worrying because I was like, I don't know why this isn't going on. I was, um, because I was unsure if I had to tell like my part-time jobs like if I was leaving or not. And so like they need that two-week notice and everything so, everything. so I was like a little bit under pressure there. Maybe I'll use this like because the other one, the other one isn't really working. I'm trying to figure out why. Um... But yeah, so that situation is sorted out. I am back to my happy self. I... I feel like this call position like fits me because it's like more relaxed and everything and it's kind of like... And they also talked about like events that they host and everything and that like suits me because I love going to like events and everything. Um. It seems pretty chill so far. I like the employer, I mean the interviewer. Seems like a good fit, plus I I feel like this is like a better fit for me so I can like get or get used to because it's not like full-time hours. So I can like get adjusted um, to like um, working like in the morning and like that to like the afternoon and getting like that kind of like, like schedule, I guess more as a stable part in my life so then like after co-op ends and after i'm done my like last semester um when i start looking for like an actual full-time job it won't be like so much of an adjustment i'll be like kind of used to used to it so it's not as much pressure if that makes sense my as you can see like i left the door open the lights are on my roommate like she's visiting her family for the next two weeks so she won't be here for the extended term and we don't know if we're going to be like paired up as roommates again so um she left this morning i think it was like i don't know i think the last checkout time is 11. um so i have the place to myself for like the next two weeks so she never like liked having the lights on and now that it's like just me here i can like leave the doors open on like you know there's no need for like privacy or whatever anymore or like for the next two weeks so i'm just gonna leave the doors open lights on <sighs> so i'm like very relaxed my birthday is also coming up so wait so today is saturday so not this monday but the next monday on the 28th so i have to start like preparing for that i also want to go to the cne now that it's like open and everything but i have to my sisters want to go which is surprising because like i'm like whoa they actually want to go so we're planning that which i'm excited for i'm not stressed about completing assignments anymore because i was like getting stressed about that because all the due dates were like piling up at the like at the like last week so every i don't know anytime like my water bottle breaks i don't get like expensive ones i normally just go to like a store like walmart shoppers dollarama and just buy like a tumbler i think these are called tumblers but they have it with the straw so you can easily like drink just because like I don't know, I like it like pretty easily accessible, so I don't have to like take off the lid and then because like I take this to work, so it's like if it's like work is always busy, so it's like you just quickly sip and then put it down and then you're good to go. And yeah, so like once my like bottle like breaks, I buy another one. So this is my newest one. The last one I had, I got it from Walmart and it had like a bunch of like leaves all over it. It was green. The, I think the one before that I had like this blue sparkly one um and then i dropped it and then i like cracked and everything so this is my newest one i actually got it from, i actually got it from shoppers um i like it because it kind of looks like a stain or stained glass window kind of um it's just like a bunch of flowers and it's blue really pretty 